Hey guys, it's me, Marie Barnes, and I am back with another video. Today is Monday, January 23rd, and it's currently 5.32 p.m. And I have my new baby girl here. This is baby Zoe. And she is the Susu Kid by Natalie Glick. She is sewed up limited edition. And I am going to be changing her into an outfit i did record me changing her into this outfit as well as me doing her hair but that video would not say i recorded it and then when i tried to find it it was just like an all black screen and it wouldn't let me do anything about it so i just ended up deleting it no point and even spending time on trying to get it back i really i spent a little time on trying to get it back but only a couple hours Anyways, I am going to be changing her into an outfit. She's going to be going into a lazy outfit. As you know, she had this cute outfit on. And so she's like, I just want to relax now. Just put on, just put me on something, just anything. So I'm going to be changing her into this Grandma's t-shirt. It's a size zero three now. She is not zero to three or three months. I thought she was going to be like three months, three to six months, but she's actually three to six months and six months. But this shirt is a zero to three month size and I know September can't fit it because I got it for her. And because it is a little bit big. I mean, September might be able to fit it, but I think she'll be able to fit it. So we're gonna put it on her. It's really cute, it's pink, has a giraffe. Or two giraffes, I, two giraffes, I should say. And I'll probably try it on September one day. We're gonna try these. I don't even know if these are gonna fit. I did not feel like looking for any pants. Or an outfit, really. Just being lazy, but just these gray pants with the ruffles on the butt. There's it or three. If they don't fit, the worst case scenario, she could just wear the shirt. Now I'm going to get my topic because oh, I forgot what I was going to talk about. I'm going to get my topic and then I'm going to rearrange the camera because you guys are not going to be able to see me change her if I'm this far close or this far up <laughs> or this close up, I should say. All right, give me one second. And we're back, as you guys can see. You already know where we are at with the good lighting. <laughs> and I went in my notes to remember the topic for today's video. Also, I want to do her hair, but I'm going to make a separate video of me doing her hair just so this one isn't too long because I want to do an actual style with her hair now that I have some rubber bands that I can use for her. So. The topic I would like to talk about is how do you know when a baby is a forever baby? Okay, so we're going to change here. We're going to talk about that. Now, this is kind of for the people who collect without having all of their babies be forever babies. I know there are tons of collectors who every baby that enters into their collection are forever babies. They will never sell them. And I love that. I honestly do. It's amazing to see and it's just overall really really nice to get a baby and not having to worry about selling it or selling it this can be a question for them as you know they have to decide what baby they actually want since they will you know probably never sell it but i also you know i also want to talk to the people who get babies and then sell them occasionally like myself i get babies all the time and you know, I sew pretty frequently when I don't bond with a baby. So I am talking about myself as well as many other collectors. But my question is forever babies. Because I do have quite a bit of forever babies into my that's in my collection. And I would never ever sell them. And I know a lot of people use that term forever babies really loosely. And they sell the baby that they say that they're forever baby, which is their business or whatever. But... What I'm trying to get at is that I have quite a few forever babies into my collection and I'm going to share like how I knew that they were forever babies. So for starters, some of my forever babies are forever babies just because of how they look as well as their kits. Uh, their kits are sold out limited edition, you know, never going to be able to find them again. So, you know, I really want to hold on to that as I may not be able to get another one, or if I do, the price is gonna be high. The price is gonna be super high, and I may never find this kid again, or this specific baby or version again. So that plays a part in my Forever Baby collection. 
I want to take off this white onesie. And other parts are giveaways, giveaway babies. I do not and will not ever sell a baby I won in a giveaway. Nolan, my first baby back into the hobby. I entered a hobby. I found out about the hobby in 2012. I officially entered in 2013. It's gonna be 10 years this year, guys. And uh, I got a baby in 2013. I sold it in about like 2014. Look at me already selling babies. <laughs> and I re-entered in the hobby in 2017 due to me winning a reborn giveaway of my reborn. I always call him a toddler, but he's not a toddler. He's just an older baby. He's like six to nine, nine month size. And he is the main reason why I'm back into the hobby from winning that giveaway. And I would never sell him. I love him. He has many flaws, many boo-boos, but I don't care about any flaws or boo-boos. I think they make a baby, give it, its, give it its own personality. But yeah, that's another reason I will not sell a baby if I want them in a giveaway. They're always going to be a forever baby. The only way that they will stay, the only way that I would get I'm sorry guys. The only way that they will leave my collection is if I send them back to the person that gifted them to me. Or if I let them know like, hey, I already bonded with this baby or I already see the baby in my collection. I can send it back to you or they say like, you know, do a giveaway or give it away to somebody. That's the only way, pretty much the only way that a giveaway baby will leave my collection. But yeah, that's one of the other key factors to a baby being a forever baby for me and I think me generally loving the baby my full body silicone baby girl September who's the Merle sculpt by Lillian Brevo which is really really funny because when the sculpt first came out I was I watched her prototype video and I was like oh that's such a cute baby and it's funny because now I own one but for her, she wasn't like a dream baby or anything. She wasn't, or a dream sculpt, I should say. She wasn't a dream sculpt for me. She wasn't a sculpt that I was looking for. And she is a forever baby because I just honestly, really, really just love her. So that's how I just knew that those babies are forever babies and are always going to be forever babies. And now on to kind of why I sell babies, if that makes sense. So uh, the way I'm wording this is not good at all. Um, okay, so I stated why some babies are for our babies. Now I'm going to let you guys know why some babies aren't for our babies. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. So reasons why babies would not be forever babies for me is I wouldn't even say impulse buy, but I would really say just because um, me just buying a baby just because and not actually like really really loving the baby I'm like oh the baby's cute the baby's a good price i can see this baby into my collection but not seeing this baby into my collection long term which will cause me to eventually sell the baby um every baby that i call a fur baby that is a forever baby as soon as i saw their pictures i knew they were going to be a forever baby most of the time with the other babies in my collection i'm like I can see this baby in my collection, but not as a forever baby. As soon as I saw Milano up for sale, I knew he was going to be a forever baby. Same with Saint as well as September. When I got Seven as a custom, I did not see that. I did not see him staying in my collection forever. I did not see him as a forever baby. And as you guys can see, he is up for sale. Uh, he is only up for sale just because I am not bonding with him. He isn't up for sale because I don't, I don't like him. He isn't up for sale because he wasn't what I expected. Um, he's just honestly up for sale because I am not bonding with him. And I think it is due to his size, which is kind of weird because I love Zaire and I love Milano. They are both his small newborn size and that's what Seven is. He's a newborn size. But for some reason, I just can't bond with him. Maybe I just bond with bigger silicones i'm not sure but i just cannot bond with seven so that's the reason why he's up for sale and i didn't think i was gonna sell him this soon but i 
did not see him as a forever baby as well as you know symphony and judas who had left my collection back in november i did not see them as a forever baby so that's why they have left so i am very curious to know how you all know when a baby is a forever baby is it based on a kit that you've been wanting is it based on a sold out limited edition kit is it based on a baby that you've been wanting and it came up for sale is it based on a custom from your favorite artist how do you know when a baby is a forever baby i want to know you guys opinions and i also want to know those of you who collects and collect only to collect and not collect to sell you know all your babies in your collection for baby i want to know as well for you how do you choose which babies into your collection since they are not going to be leaving your collection at all is there like something specific that you look for is it just what your heart tugs at is it just what you see when you see it you just love it so you're like i need the baby um, I'm really, really curious. I'm so surprised and shocked that the zero to three month size pants fit her really well because these three month size pants, they were too tight on her and they were um, high waters. And these are Carter's three months. And I think this is either just when you Carter's or the other Carter's brand. And they're zero to three and they fit her. That's weird. They're not too much of high waters on her but yeah i'm really really shocked that she fits i'm like she cannot fit zero to three <laughs> and then she fits it but i really think maybe it just depends if it's like super super big zero to three like this shirt i already knew she was gonna be able to fit the shirt because it's really really big and i really think that for the majority of it the main part is she's three to six i i don't want to say three months but i want to say she's three to six of course with some really really big three month size clothing as well but um yeah and some small six month size clothing she can fit but yeah guys that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about i did get into this topic in my changing video on september like at the end and i was like why did i think of this topic when the video is over so i wanted to make an official video and talk to you all about it i'm trying to get her to look at you guys do you want to look at your friends zoe Okay, let's see. <laughs> Ta-da! But yeah, we're gonna do her hair. Uh, from back here, her hair doesn't look that messy, but let me bring you guys close up. Her hair is a messy. She has two little braids in the back. Let me show you guys. Can you guys see it in the mirror, her two little braids? Yeah, as you guys can see, her hair is really, really messy. So I'm going to do a hair video. And then after I do her hair in the next video, I don't know what video I'm going to do after that. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. That's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Before I say all of my outro shenanigans i do want to let you all know that i have an email subscription that is 100 percent free you sign up and i just send out random emails um i send out updates on my collection they're all reborn related topics that i send out the emails for so if you guys are interested in that the link is in the description below you guys can go ahead and sign up i always forget to kind of let you all know about it in the video so i'm trying to do better at that especially letting you guys know things in the beginning of the video rather than the end since a lot of people don't stick out until the end of the video but that's okay i have an email subscription linked down below in the description all right guys so that's zoe or zolina that's her full name zolina monroe for those of you who do not know i did a name reveal a couple of days ago um i was going to toot my own horn and say hey that rhymes but we're out of time. Oh my gosh. I'm just so good at this. <laughs> and, um, you guys can go ahead and follow us on Instagram if you guys would like to. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. I currently have four babies for sale right now. One of them is a full body silicone and three of them are vinyl. All of them are black or biracial and the vinyl babies are boo-boos and they're super affordable so if you guys are interested then you guys can dm me on instagram or you guys can email me my email is myreborns at gmail.com 
if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you guys want in the comments including video requests and if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button all right we will talk to you guys later bye